Brett Okamoto alongside UFC flyweight champion Valentina Shevchenko, who just scored a spectacular knockout over Jessica I at UFC 238, the first defense of her flyweight championship. And Valentina, that looks like an early candidate for, for knockout of the year. How does it feel landing a kick like that? I uh, feel great and more like I don't have to fight all five rounds. <laughs> this is the most like uh, nicer, but in the same time, um, feel good, but still I very worry about Jessica. I hope she's okay and she will um, come back like good with her health. So just um, I hope it doesn't affect too much. Yeah, that was very obvious. After you landed the kick, you went over and kind of stood in your corner. You could tell that you were stressed out a little bit. Can you tell us what's what's going through your mind? I mean, you just defended your title. It's a great moment for you, but you can't really celebrate it probably like you wanted to. How did that feel? Uh, yeah. Any victory, it's like celebration, of course. And when you are doing a count, it's like double celebration. But in the same time, we are all human. You cannot like just block one side and just go celebrate because it's like unhuman. In the same time, you are feeling good because you are winning the, the fight and you are not the one who is on the floor. In the same side, when you are like assume all of this, you start to be worried about the, your opponent and just hope that she's okay. Is there something like like personal about it that that I just did this to somebody, or is it more like this is the sport, that, you know, this is what happened. I'm worried about her, or is there something kind of personally attached to it that, that I myself just did this to some? I would say it's more sport because we are doing MMA, and everybody knows that this is can happen can happen inside the octagon. If you don't do it maybe you would get you will get it that's why we are training i mean like we are all sportsmen we are all mma fighters we are training so hard to be the one who do it and not to receive it did you uh do you and jessica talk at all exchange any type of words after the fight once she got up after the fight just a little bit when she was is still inside the octagon but not too much i think in this condition she is not like receiving too much information i think um, it's better to leave her and uh, make uh, to just to give a little bit time to rest and recover you've been doing combat sports for a long time as far as scary knockouts that you've delivered where does that rank in your in your career I don't know yet. I don't know yet. I still like live in this moment yet. It's too fast to say. It has to be pass. It has to pass a little bit time to measure everything and just to give the answer. But it's too fast to respond. What are these weeks like for you? And I know this was your first title defense, but you, you've been in this situation before where everyone expects you to win, Valentina. I mean, no one it seems like they were giving Jessica I a chance. How does that feel going through the fight week and having those types of questions asked of you over and over again? You know, I you said exactly that I'm very long time in martial arts. I know how to block me and don't <coughs> sorry, don't let these old questions come into my mind, into my head and just make their like live forever. No, I just block it. I respond to the question but it doesn't affect me because I'm I know how to manipulate all this like thoughts what's going inside of your head and I know exactly how to um, manage this kind of situation. Do you feel like all of your title defense weeks are going to be like that where it's just how bad is Valentina going to beat her opponent? Do you feel like or do you see somebody coming up that says well maybe you know we'll get it like like Joanna Young Jacek she was looked at as, as a you know close fight quality opponent. Do you see another one of her or do you think it's going to be some of these these matches in the future that, like this week? Um, I just know that I will do all my best to defend my belt like as much time as I can in the best way as I can. And I know that I just be I will train in like very hard every time because for me there is no uh, this kind of if you are champion you can uh, train a little bit like softer. No, you cannot. You have to train double, double power. Put more yeah, from yourself. Uh, it's kind of person I am, and I know this for exactly. If every like fight will be the same, I just will be glad. <laughs> how do you? I, and that does seem like it's just your personality. But how do you maintain that? I mean, how do you look at a? How do you look at video of an opponent and you see betting odds where you're, you know, a twenty to one favorite? How do you can continue to be motivated in situations like that? I didn't watch that video. <laughs> I knew that. I, in the betting, I'm like, are, uh, very, everybody say you are too high, this is it, but I didn't know the numbers. <laughs> I know you want to be an active champion. Realistically, how frequently would you like to defend your title? Um, I'm healthy and I'm ready to get back to the training camp. I don't know, maybe three, four months from here. <laughs>
Mm -hmm. And I know that you signed, you recently signed a new contract with the UFC, right? When you were talking with the UFC and negotiating this contract, was that part of it? Was that was that something that your management brought up that said, hey, it, you know, in addition to, to a lot of different other things that we're talking about in a contract, we want to be active. Is that something you specifically brought up? I, I don't know. It's not nothing, some some kind of specific things because I know you see everyone, every time they are just happy to have active champions who are going to put the show and go, uh, they are ready to fight and they're just happy to have something like this. That's why I think it's not necessary to put under the contract. Did you happen to see the first fight of the night between Caitlin Jukagan and Joanne Calderwood? I didn't see the fight, but I already know the result. I want to congratulate Caitlin Jukagan. She's a good fighter. And um, I would gladly to fight anyone who's going to be in the rank number one in my weight class division.